up y'all and back with another video as you guys can probably tell my hair is dyed at the ends yes your girl went ombre and i actually did it myself so if you guys like to see how i got my hair like this then keep watching i am going to be doing it myself which i know is kind of risky so i'm gonna film it because either way it'd either be funny or informative so We'll just have to see. Pray for me. I basically know what to do. I've never gotten my hair like professionally dyed before because my mom, um, she used to be a cosmetologist. What my mom usually does is she just gets like a super light blonde um, hair dye and that's how she dyes it. Hey, it's a Walmart. Here's my first Tommy channel. Got some really cool deals. Here's my promo code for 10% discount. I'm sweating, but um... <laughs> So I was literally on the hunt for cream of nature hair dye because y'all don't know this but I live in the suburbs. Uh, Multicultural hair sections and like the targets and the Walmarts are like this big. And so they don't carry like cream, like they carry cream of nature products, just not the hair dye. And so I went on the cream of nature website and I like looked for like where not just the products, but hair color was available because I knew it would be available in Tulsa. And I went to Tulsa, I went to two different Walmarts and they didn't, they both did not carry cream of nature hair color, which honestly really pisses me off because don't put it on your website that you have hair color, not just hair products. I made sure to check for hair color and like they're nowhere to be found i ended up going with the dark and lovely line because i'm basing my hair dye experience off of like natural niece's experience and she used cream of nature to go ombre and she used the colors like light golden blonde and like light caramel brown she got her hair professionally done though and this one is from dark and lovely and it is literally called light golden blonde so i was like Usually what my mom does is she gets like one color and she just dyes it but she keeps them on for different times which is the same effect as getting like a transition color but I ended up just doing the transition color just in case this came out like too light so I got the dark and lovely um honey blonde I'm like pretty like confident like I'm not I watched my mom do it like three or four times so let's just get started so I'm taking my bun out so oh, I'm gonna miss you take a good look hair I've been wanting to do this for such a long time but like a lot of people would tell me like not even knowing that I was considering dyeing my hair back ombre they'd be like I really like your hair dark and I'd be like I'm gonna keep the hair tied up just to keep it like easy to apply kind of like when you apply hair products like you want to make sure every strand gets a bit of product and so you want to make sure like every curl gets some color i'm like really talking with my hair looking like this like your girl looks crazy but here so basically even with like my lip is what i'm gonna be ombreing there's like my backdrop super edgy super edgy okay i feel like a scientist when i do this i don't know if you guys can see that took it on the top layer by itself twisted it Making sure I got every strand. And then I did the same to the bottom. And then I combined them. I'm just gonna secure the ends just because it makes it easier to keep in the shower cap. This is like hair look number two of me looking a hot mess. I'm back. I did it for like 45 minutes. Okay. I'm. What is this? What? What? What is this? Uh uh. Like what is this? I little miss dark and lovely. So far, your out of 10 rating is very low. It's like splotchy. And this side lifted better. I don't understand. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do one more coat. And I'll be back in like another 30 minutes with hopefully some better results. Okay guys, I'm back. And total, my hair has basically been lightening for like an hour in 20 minutes and i don't know what i'm gonna do if it just doesn't get 
lighter than this why is it advertising that it can get dark hair this light if it's not doing that like my hair is still way darker than this i want what the color of the ends are to be my transition color so you can imagine how far i have to go just for the freaking transition color i'm really just getting really mad right now because it's never taken this long for my hair to like lift and it's never done this like i don't it's not anything about oh i have to bleach it it's just like it's my color is literally not lifting because i've dyed my hair ombre like three times without bleach Take three. <laughs> I've literally had it. Like, I'm pissed right now. I think I'm just gonna, like, call it a day and just, like, leave it like this and then take this back and get a different brand. Like, this was, this was poo. I'm just gonna keep it real. It isn't doing anything for me. Hey guys, so I am finally back to finish my hair. Hopefully I can finish it. I think it's funny because I was like, oh, like this is going to be easy. Like I know what I'm doing and it's been a struggle. And if you've had better experience with Dark and Lovely's hair dye, um, let me know how it went for you. It shouldn't take five hours for my hair to lift. I was scared that my hair was going to fall out. It's, it doesn't look terrible. Like, it's looking a little better. It's just not as light as I want it to be. Like, I like the transition color, but, like, the overall tips of the hair isn't as light as I want it to be. And it's definitely a little too bronzy for my liking. So, I went to Target the other day, actually yesterday, and I got the L'Oreal um, new excellence cream triple protection color in lightest natural blonde so this is the pre the pre color treatment oh, okay so this is only for the fragile parts of your hair particularly the ends which is good because that's what i'm dying oh my god this stuff is so strong wow There were parts of my hair that did not lift, like, at all. I hope this color fixes the brass, because I've never had brass this bad before. Now that I'm looking like a cafeteria lady, I'll be back in, like, 30 to 45 minutes. Hey, guys. So, I'm back. We're going to see... Hmm. I want it a little lighter, so we're just gonna go ahead and... Okay guys, so I'm back with the finished look. I am like 95% pleased with it. Um, it's not as light as I wanted it to be at the ends, and I think that I am going to dye my ends lighter. So I have that like three-toned hair ombre effect. Um, but I'm not going to do that for a while just because my hair went through a lot of dyeing. So I think I'm just going to wait until like the beginning of August before I redye my ends just to get the perfect ombre. But as of right now, I think it looks good. I love how ombre just gives me more life. And before I get comments about how like I should have got it professionally done and blah, 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 blah. It wasn't the fact that I didn't know how to dye my hair. It was the fact that... The dye that I got was trash at lifting the hair color because it should not take five hours to lift your hair. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, I've dyed my hair ombre so many times and it's never taken that long. Like, it was just ridiculous. Yeah, so this is the finished results. And if you guys have any questions, comment below. Any video requests, comment down below. Subscribe. Oh, and thank you so much for 200 subscribers. That means the world to me. 
because I literally just started YouTube this summer and thank you so much for all your positivity and for joining me on my YouTube journey and tell your friends, tell your girlfriends, tell your mama, your sister, your daddy. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll talk to you guys in another video. Bye!